Hi, I'm Susan Hansen. I'm a Chartered Accountant. I qualified in both South Africa and in Australia. I also have an MBA in Finance. I worked for a big four accounting firm in Cape Town and in London, and then I worked for a Wall Street investment bank. I was then a project manager and chief executive, and for the last 15 years I've been doing courses on finance for non-financial executives. I do do courses for chartered accountants and investment bankers as well. Engineers in particular benefit from this course because typically you're very good at numbers, you're very good at formulae, and knowing how to apply these tools in conjunction with other financial tools can help you add a lot of value to your organization. The course is broken down to three sub-disciplines within finance. The first one is financial accounting, where you learn how to interpret a set of financial statements, not only understanding what is in the financial statements, but what isn't in the financial statements. So you can get a big picture of the value of the organization. Secondly, we look at management accounting, which is about knowing your numbers. It's about the day-to-day -day running of the business. One of the most typical management accounting tools is your budget. And the budget processes that have been in organizations for many, many years is being brought into question. So we will look at the questions that people are asking and the solutions that they propose. It's very important that we link the budget of the organization to the long-term strategy so we consider strategic tools that help us link the vision to the financial reality. Another important element in management accounting is understanding your costs. It's arguably the biggest mistake that organizations make, putting their products and services out in the marketplace, knowing what the market price is, but not truly understanding their costs. Finally, and arguably most importantly, we look at financial management all about our investment decision, a critical component of any project manager's role. Understanding valuation methods and understanding why the value to one person is not the same to another person is of critical importance. Once we've decided to go ahead and make an investment, the next question is how do we pay for it? So I believe that the benefits you would get out of this program is to understand all the tools that are available and when they are best to be applied. In addition, I've also written a book called Simply Finance. It's in its fourth edition and anyone attending the course gets a copy of that. So I hope to see you there.